We're here today because of your inspection, opinions, and conclusions with respect to the Nordhaven N120-1, known as Aurora. Do you understand that? I do. As you sit here today, do you understand that PAE has identified you as a witness that is expected to provide expert testimony at trial? As I sit here today, do I recognize that? You understand I that. do now. Okay. Did you ahead of time know that PAE was planning to identify you as a witness that was expected to provide expert testimony at trial? Not as an expert witness. That's the, as I mentioned earlier, that was unclear to me. When did you first learn that you had been listed as an expert witness by PAE? Uh, to the best of my recollection, when I received an email from Mr. Carr. Has so anyone ever told you that you're no longer welcome at the South Coast facility? Uh, yes. Who told you that? <clears throat> a uh, client told me that several months ago. A client told you that you were not welcome at South Coast? That I was, that he was told that I was not welcome there, so. In your skill training experience, is the problem you identified in paragraph 151 of Exhibit 107 inconsistent with best practices in the yachting industry? Yes. Why? Uh, because all gear should be accessible for inspection and service. If you were purchasing Aurora, it would be something that you would insist that PAE remedy? Yes. So this is a remediable, remediable issue? I believe it is. Based on your skill training experience, is the problem identified in paragraph 151 of Exhibit 107 something that you would have expected to be identified and resolved by PAE prior to delivering Aurora to the buyer? Yes. Let's take a look at page 18, paragraph 160. Paragraph 160 states, access to many of the vessel's HVAC air handlers is very difficult. The return air filters are, in most cases, installed facing away from the accessible side of the locker or compartment in which the air handlers are installed. Access to some air handlers requires disassembly of joiner work. This will make proper and convenient replacement of these filters difficult, if not impossible. Do you see that language? I do. You wrote that? I did. Is it true at the time you wrote it? Yes. Based on your skill training and experience, the problem you identified in paragraph 160 of Exhibit 107 below the end, excuse me, inconsistent with best practices in the yachting industry. Yes. Why? Because all gear should be accessible for service. Based upon your skill, training, and experience, is the problem you identified in paragraph 160 of Exhibit 107 something that you would have expected to be identified and resolved by PAE prior to delivering Aurora to the buyer? Yes. Let's take a look at page 5, paragraph 18, which states the receptacle used for the pressure washer in the Portuguese bridge lacks GFI protection. While the pressure washer plug has integral GFI protection, the receptacle could be used for another appliance and should therefore be protected, period, capital A, period. Do you see that? Yes. Is that a true statement when you wrote it? Yes. Why does this matter? Uh, because GFI protection provides electrocution protection for, it, for people, and uh, it is um, particularly desirable in potentially wet areas like weather decks adjacent to um, um, hatches that might give access to weather decks any place something could get wet essentially. Based upon your skill training experience, was the problem you identified on page 5, paragraph 18 of Exhibit 107 inconsistent with best practices in the yachting industry? Yes. Why? Uh, because it is a AC electrical outlet that is in close proximity to a weather deck or on a weather deck and then therefore there is the risk of electrocution. Death. Death, potentially death, yes. Based upon your skill training experiences, the problem you identified on page 5, paragraph 18 of Exhibit 107, something that you would have expected to be identified and resolved by PAE prior to delivering it to the buyer. Yes. And the problem identified on page 5, paragraph 18 of 107, is key coded as A or critical, correct? Yes. And again, that's because of the risk of electrocution? Yes. Paragraph number 8 states, access to the master cabin escape trunk is very difficult, requiring removal of an overhead panel. There are no stairs or ladder. The hatch is heavy and not hinged, making practicing escape from it difficult. 
providing a passenger knew it was there, use of this escape route is neither easy nor practical. And then the letter A. Do you yeah. see that language? I do. Is that a true statement at the time you wrote it? Yes. Why does this matter? Well, clearly escape from a compartment would be critical in the event of a fire or flooding. Now, Mr. Connor asked you whether or not Aurora was sufficient to trust your life. Uh, would you have trusted your life on Aurora to do the type of crossings that Mr. Connor described after discovering all the A items before any of them were repaired? No. <laughs>